I am Kareem and I am a product manager with Amazon QuickSight. I focus on embedded analytics. Today I wanted to give you a quick introduction of embedded analytics developer portal that we have created. You can access this portal by going to https colon slash slash developer.quicksight.ews. The goal of this portal is to help developers understand the APIs required for embedding dashboards into their applications with some samples that they can try and a playground they can play with and get started with the embedding experience in a Jiffy. Our homepage has a top section that talks about Amazon QuickSight Embedded Analytics and link for you to get started for free and a request for a proof of concept. The bottom section talks to you about three different use cases where you can use embedding. The first use case is when you want to display a dashboard to anyone. The second use case is when you want to embed the dashboard for authenticated users only. And the third use case is when you want to embed the complete authoring experience into your application. So let me take you through a sample for how to embed a dashboard so that it's accessible to anyone by clicking on try it. When you click on this Try It button, you're taken to a page with three tabs. The first tab is how it looks. In this tab, we want to show you a quick sample of how a fictitious company, Octank, has embedded a live dashboard into their application. And anyone coming to this application can access this dashboard. It is open for anyone. So as you can see, we have this fictitious website, Octank, and we have the dashboard embedded here. And you can also access this dashboard by going to this particular website and clicking on Try It. The second tab, How to Embed It, talks to you about different steps that are required for you to get this dashboard embedded for anyone. The first step is getting started, where you set up a AWS account and sign up with QuickSight for the Enterprise Edition. Then, as an admin, you have to add your embedding website's domain name to the allowed list of the domains and embedding section in Manage QuickSight page within the Amazon QuickSight product itself. And then let's say that you have a dashboard ready that you have created and you want to embed it. Then you move on to the next step, which is configure permissions. Here, you are enabling the permissions for a role that can run the get dashboard embed URL API under the identity type anonymous. We have a copy button for you to be able to copy this JSON and add it to your IAM permissions. Once you have done this, the next step is for you to generate the embedding URL. For that, you have to access the get dashboard embed URL API and set the identity type as anonymous. We have the code snippets for you in Java, JavaScript, and Python. You can download each of these snippets or copy it. And as you can see, these snippets talk to you about how to access the Get Dashboard Embed URL API with the identity type anonymous. You have to do it for this from your AWS account. So please remember to add your AWS account ID, your dashboard ID, and the other required parameters. The output of this API is a URL that you will take and embed it into your HTML application, which is the last step. We have a HTML code snippet here. And as you can see, you can replace the sample URL that we have with the URL you generated in the prior step. And you can also see that you are required to download the JavaScript JS SDK as we have listed it in the comment section here in the HTML. And again, you can download the snippet or copy this HTML code and get ready for embedding your own application. We also have bundled all these codes from configure permissions all the way to embed URL in your application with the different languages supported into a zip file, which you can download by clicking on download all code. Then the last tab, how to customize it, talks to you about how you can 
learn about different controls that you can enable on your dashboard using the JS SDK that we provide or listen to the different QuickSight events and take some actions on your embedding application again using the JS SDK. The first one is enabling controls on your QuickSight dashboard. As you can see, the various controls are print, switch locale, switch sheets, pass parameters. So let me quickly show you one example. Let's say that this is my dashboard that I have embedded into my fictitious Octank website. And I want to change its locale to JP. And I'm doing it from the embedding application itself. So when I click on this, two things happen. The first is the code here that you see is actually a usable code. And it has the part where you enable the locale to Japanese highlighted that you can use. Again, you can copy this code or you can download by clicking here. Or we have an easy copy button for you here. And second thing that has happened is, as you can see, this dashboard loaded for it in Japanese. Similarly, if I click on print, you will see that the code has updated itself with the function print enable true. And the dashboard has loaded with the print icon here, which is you can click to print. And one last example is, let's say that I want to switch sheets from this existing sheet to risk. So when I click on this, you can see that the code is highlighted. Here I'm actually disabling sheets tab. What this does is, this hides the sheets within your embedded dashboard, but using the navigate to sheet, you can activate a particular sheet from your embedding application itself, not requiring to change sheets within the dashboard. And that's what we are able to show here. I have hidden the sheets in my dashboard, but using the JS SDK, I'm calling different sheets from my embedding application and changing the sheets. Similarly, you can listen to various events on a quick set dashboard and take some actions. Let's say that I have the change sheet example that I'm showing here and the code for that is uploaded for you to show how you can use the on selected change sheet function that is available within JS SDK that you can use to listen to the event when a sheet is changed. And we are demoing the listening of the event and capturing that event in a small console that we have here. Let's say that I click on orders. I'm changing sheet. And you can see that I'm able to get that call back and I'm able to take some action. Here I'm showing a text which shows which sheet is selected and throwing some data about that sheet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, the goal of this uh, developer portal for the embedded analytics is to help you understand the different embedding use cases, get you started quickly, and uh, hopefully this video has been very helpful. And please do use this feedback button to provide us some feedback. Thank you and bye-bye.